Yo, welcome to my apartment. Yo, this space is so small. How much do you pay for it? 650. What's the square footage? 80 by 150. So really, it just feels like a walk-in closet. Like. <laughs> it's in Midtown, so it's nice because it's not in a random spot. Like in Brooklyn or something. Like in Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy shit. This is the kitchen, no oven. Are these clean or dirty dishes? Yeah, they're so dirty. They're so dirty. <laughs> don't, don't look at them. This is like the only shelving space you have kind of over only here. Only shelving, yeah. It's kind of annoying. This yeah. is very like college esque. It's right? so college. Feels like a dorm, yeah. We have a makeup bin and we have food. Or do you cook in here ever? <laughs> is that the, that's the real question? Sometimes, yeah. If I do though, like I'll go get it fresh. This is storage. I just keep like a lot of cleaner stuff up there. So I had food up here originally. There were like mice in the, like, the beginning of summer. So I was like, hell no. The, the whole mice bugs thing, like any apartment in New York, you can't escape it. You yeah. almost couldn't even do an at-home workout in here. That's how small it is. Yeah. So you used to live in a luxury high rise and then you moved into this tiny spot. Yes. And what prompted that? I kind of just, I was debating if I was gonna move back to LA when this lease was over. So it was a six month short time lease. I just found it and I thought it would be nice and convenient. I can travel and not have to worry about a lot of rent. So. Basically save $2,600 a month. Yeah, exactly. So should we shift into the living room? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Onto the couch, a nice view of the TV. You can almost reach over and wash your hands you really can. from the living room if you wanted to. I work in fashion, so those are all from my magazine that I write editorials for. And then semi new to New York, a year, so it's like postcards and then they give you when you go to restaurants. And I like write memories on the back of them with like whoever I went with to the place. So do you primarily hang out like down here when you're at home? Mostly. Sometimes it's nice to go up there and like read. This or space between here and here folds into a guest room. Can we pull it out? Can we see it? So everything has to shift to the right a little bit. And then you just pull it out. This is Surf Line, Surf Life. So I'm guessing they're like a surf brand. <laughs> it's definitely a little stiff. Oh, it's very stiff. Like I have to like buy a mattress pad every time friends come. And where do you keep the mattress pad then? I'll return it because I don't. It's so big. I mean, look at the closet, it's so tiny. The cupboard under the stairs. This is the thing about this apartment is like, every time I want to get something out, something else has to move. Oh, so, so you have your jackets and stuff there. Yeah, just cause it's hard to get to, so stuff I don't need right now. Where do you keep your jackets when it is winter? Where all those clothes are right now? <laughs> they do, they're just hanging down from somewhere. There's literally one bowl that goes across the entire wall up there and I was like, I have no other choice but to put clothes here. Yeah, it's like a little tree house kind of. Yeah, it does actually feel a little bit like a tree house. What about your neighbors? Can you hear them? Surprisingly not. The only one I can hear is the one next door and his shower is, it must be like right behind that wall. So the stairs lead up to this lofted space, which is your bed? Yeah. Can I try out your bed? This is something I ask everybody. You can try it out. I can try it out? You can try it out. Oh my goodness. You want me to go first or you want to go first? You go first. Right. Oh my goodness. Perfect. Yeah, you have your shoes on. Do you want me to take them off real quick? Yeah, can you? This is funny. <laughs> we're really going to know each other. We are. We just pull it. Thank you. If you were an old person, you could not live here. Oh, wow. Holy shit. This is actually insane. I know. Isn't it crazy? Basically, from this railing to the ceiling right here, that's like the amount of space we have up here. So you ever bring boys up here? Never. <laughs> It's never happened. I tell them like it's actually not possible. <laughs> it's like, they're like, we won't judge you. And I'm like, no, it's not about judging. It's like, you actually won't fit. <laughs> the full test. I'll move. It's actually really comfortable. It is. Like your mattresses. Yeah. We're just close to the ceiling. We're super close. Don't hit your head. That's how close it is. You really gotta watch out. Those are purses? They're purses, bags. Purses and bags. And then you have some more clothing hanging up over here. We just it's met. Big. And I'm just like in her bed. <laughs> I mean, I guess people do this all the time, but not for a social media video. They're more like, <laughs> you know, getting drinks at the bar. Then they end up in someone's bed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Thaddeus, are you right there? <laughs> <laughs> So how did you find this apartment? So I found it on Street Easy. I was actually supposed to get the one below me that had a bathroom in the unit and I think an oven, but that was 850 and the girl was like, it's gone, it's taken, like these are going like crazy. And she was like, I have one more oven for you. There were so many people touring this apartment when I came. Really? And the agent just was like, you're really fun. Like, I think you should have it. And so this is a hot commodity. It was a very hot commodity. It was funny because all the FIT students were like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Like we want this. And, and so let it be known. This apartment, people want it. This isn't okay. like, oh no, you don't want to live here. You want to live here. You do. It's an adventure. Can we check out the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> she sounds embarrassed. Also, I noticed you keep your shoes out here. Yeah, I do. And your neighbor doesn't care here? No, he's so chill. I've asked him a million times if it bugs him. He's like, I don't care. The shower looks nice, actually. <laughs> no, I'm serious. So being a female living in this building and having your shower down the hall, 
Do you ever feel uncomfortable? No, honestly, but it might be because I know all my neighbors and I feel like I can just like walk out. I can rock out here in town like a robe and it just doesn't matter because like mm. we're all really close. So it's all my skincare. And then this is just like kind of essential stuff like makeup brushes and let's go. Sketchy rooftops in New York City. Whoa, so this is your rooftop. How often do you think you come up here? Like once a week, seven times a week? So I work from home like three times a week now. So I'd say like three to four days. Sometimes I get a little claustrophobic, so it's nice to just kind of like relax up here, read, write, yoga. It just gets so tiny and tight in there, so. What do you do with the dog when you go to work? I keep him either in the apartment or I take him to daycare in the morning. The luxury building versus this apartment, which one's better? This. Hot 100%. take. Hot take. People need a lot less than what they think they need and learned that here. <laughs> Life lessons from the tiny apartment. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next week. Also, click the like button. Thanks for having me over. Thanks for coming. Parents were making fun of me actually because they were like, Elena, you can't even, I'm from Missouri. So they were like, Elena, you can't even find a spot like this in Missouri for this Jeep. <laughs> I'm like dying from laughter how small this thing is. Okay, here we go. Forten til riget er begyndt at åbne sig på nye.